All right, we got a new feature coming out with the uh, Ultimate Golf Clash Calculator starting with uh, version 10.7. Um, the new feature is a slider chart converter. Uh, how you would get to it is if here you are, you're on the main sheet, you'll see the tabs down here, you'll see a new tab called slider chart converter. Hit that and you'll be back to the sheet. What you'll see is a grid or a chart here on the left that has in one column, yardage indication or number of ring indication. In this column is a slider percentage. And in this column is rings to pull. You'll see a similar one on the right side. Uh, one side is for club one and one side is for club two. Um, to select club one, you use this drop down list. Sniper in the level. This for the right side, it'll be this one. Sniper in the level. Um, before I go on, I just want to uh, mention that anytime you see a cell with blue outlined in red, all these cells, blue, or lime and red. These are the cells uh, that you can put user input. All other cells will um, <coughs> not accept it. It's just all the other cells are, of course, data that you look at and gives giving you feedback. Okay, so let's take a look at how we use this. So we'll concentrate one, something simple first, something pretty straightforward. Oh, well, one more thing. Let me get before I start about how to enter wind information here. You can see that this up here. Um, you put no decimal for the wind, so 10, 10.5, say would be, you enter is 105, 10.5. Um, elevation, it can be positive, you can put 5, you can put negative elevation, negative 10. Uh, you can even put uh, something like 7, and you put decimal, 2.1. You can put something super high, like 150. That's the elevation will go here, and then this is the power ball level selector for your rings to pull calculation so put three there or maybe i'll put five and you'll see that it affects the rings to pull uh calculation okay but let's see how we can use this so it's most useful if um, you're setting up your own shot or a lot of people use guides for tournaments so let's walk through and look at uh how you can use a guide and yet, um, and use this calculator to kind of help you uh, out with that. So let's take a look. Um, let's take a look at this one. This is, uh, we'll start with this one, a basic one. These are Tommy guides for Golf Clash Tommy. Um, I didn't ask permission to use them. I'm not showing the whole guide. These are old guides, um, just one whole a snippet. And I do, so before I go on, I do want to mention how you can get these guides. Um, this is his page. You go to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy uh, and you can sign up to receive his guides, tour guides. Just help me. He has just a lot of different info. Uh, I am not being compensated for this. I, um, I have, don't have an, any agreement. I haven't really talked to him about <laughs> showing this. Uh, I'm just showing off just a few snippets uh, as an example on how to um, use the, the slider converter. Um, but yeah, I personally use his tournament guides. Uh, they're excellent. So if you want want to get them, uh, this is how you sign up. Okay, so let's go back. So let's look at his typical guide. Let's look at this hole. So he has a pin check here showing that you're playing with a Goliath. He has a picture of a Goliath here. Uh, he's showing in this area the okay, pin check. And he gives a chart for the pin check. So we can set that up. So. And he's saying over here, it should be for Goliath 6 plus. So let's assume we have a Goliath 9 and we'll set that up. So let's go here. So we'll say Goliath 9. Goliath 9. And what ball are we playing with? Let's see. And we're playing, starting off here, you can see upper, upper left with a P3 plus ball. So we say we're using a P3 ball. So we set that up and by just saying here P3. <clears throat> okay, and his yardage is at the plus five with pick one. He doubted in at the plus five pin check. He doubted in a thirty-four percent slider for the Goliath. So we'll put that down. Plus five will be thirty-four percent. Right. Just to confirm that. Plus five thirty-four. Okay, but we also noticed that he has. Uh, information to use for your wind your rings to pull for the wind calculation and it's down here 
He's saying to use P3 numbers at 0% elevation. So we use that. We can use that information. We'll put it up here for the wind calculation will be P3 numbers and we need 0% elevation. Okay, so we have it all set. We have the ring indications for a power three ball for Goliath on the left. Um, appropriate slider percentage here. Um, and based on, based on the input we did for the wind, uh, we have the proper rings to pull. And what's nice about this chart is that you can see here, if you go below your zero yard mark percentage, um, it tells you that for number of rings short of your zero plus zero yard indication, it makes the calculation too. What the calculator does, let's say we did minus, we're seven rings short. The calculator knows how many yards per ring minus seven rings is calculates that yardage, translates that into a slider percentage and gives you the appropriate rings to pull. Same thing on if you're hit a short drive and now, oh man, I'm plus nine, I can't quite get there. I'm like three rings, I need three rings more to get to the landing spot that he says to, to get to. Well, the calculator will figure that out for you because it knows uh, the yardage size per ring, uh, calculates that, adds that into the, the yardage to give you the correct slider percentage and then of course the correct rings to pull okay let's look at another one mm, so let's go to the next one okay we see this one it's a landing position so it's a landing position looks like he's using a sniper 10 yeah sniper sniper using a sniper 10 or just a sniper in general but the picture showing sniper 10 landing position check and then we got a look, my ball, he's in P3 ball. So that gives you the landing position yardage indication, right? That's what you're actually seeing as you play. You're playing with a P3 ball, Golf Clash is gonna spit back these actual yardage indications to you. So we set that up. So we go sniper, sniper, sniper 10. Okay. Oh yeah, we're set up at P3. And let's see, he has it at plus nine is 100%. Plus nine is 100%, okay? So the left side is now set up for you. Uh, but there's still a little bit more because the yardage indications are set up correctly to give you the correct slider percentage, but he's basing the rings to pull his wind calculation on a P4 ball zero percent elevation so we'll come back here Ooh, sorry <laughs> loud motorcycle going by so pete will hear the power ball level for the art for the rings to pull calculation but before at zero percent all right so now we're ready to go we have slider uh, excuse me plus yardage indication with the p3 ball with the sniper 10 and the wind calculation based off of p4 ball at zero percent elevation so all right totally set up and on top of that now we have we do know that the for one ring short or three ring short uh, the calculator is getting you the right rings to pull as well okay let's look at one more okay, so something a little um, even more this I guess I'm a little more advanced so let's look at here on the lower right side he has a um, easy information so this is really good. He gives you uh, a lot of different options. In fact, you sometimes I use uh, several slides and to kind of help you out with variations as you play. But on this one, he's saying if you have a short drive, right, you need to do a ring check. Or oh, not a ring, sorry, RC rough check. Um, but if you notice, the rough check is being done with a B52, but your shot is being taken with a thorn. So the ring checks, are coming from a P52, but the slider uh, percentages need to be for the thorn. So we can we can set that up. So let's see what ball we're using. We're using a P5 ball, if you look up to the upper left. Well, he shows a P3 ball here, but I must have covered the info because this is only for, must be only for spin information, no spin. He's trying to highlight. Okay, so P5 ball with thorn, 
uh, oh, excuse me, P5 ball with the B52, and we need to get Thor and slider information, right? So let's go see how we do that. Okay. So we need to set up for the slider information, Thorn. So this is Thorn 9, and Thorn 9, yeah, P5 ball. But then we come up here, we see we can use a reference club. So we'll use that. So the reference club we'll use is a B52. We'll choose a 7, and now we say yes, right? That we're using the B52 as the reference club. Uh, let's see. So at the B52 reference with a P5 ball, the plus seven should be a 70% slider thorn. So we'll do that, put that in. And so seven should, oh, was that right? Oh, I lost myself. <laughs> okay, seven is 70%. There, and that's it. So now this is set up, except we must now let's look at the wind, how he deals with the wind. With a win, you need a P4 ball at 20% elevation. So, go there. P4 ball, I already have P4 selected. 20% elevation. Okay. And you notice as I put yes, as I selected yes, we have this uh, warning reference club on me. We're using the reference club. Make sure you turn it off when you uh, use, the, use this tool again. Okay, yeah, but we're set up. So now we're ready, the wind comes, we say, oh, okay, we got 8.5 miles per hour. The rings are adjusted perfectly because you got into your shot. You notice, hey, I got a plus nine indication using my P5 ball with the B52. So when I pull back to use my thorn, I know I'm gonna be at 74% slider, which will require a 5.2 ring pull based on uh, power four ball at 20% elevation. So that's set up. So that's basically it. And uh, yeah, this calculator, this converter can do one more thing, very useful uh, besides this, is that it can convert one slider chart into another club slider chart. So that's why we have two sides, one on the left and one on the right. So let's take a look at that. So let's say, um, uh, let's go with Sniper 10. So Sniper 10. 10, and say I was going with a sniper eight. And I'm using the same thing. So that sniper 10, power ball three, and seven, so seven yards, they say it's down in a 70%. But I don't have a sniper 10. I only have a sniper eight. Well, the calculator was showing you that. Well, the equivalent is that you're gonna be beyond your max it's going to be one ring pass max. Uh, you utilize your 84% slider and the rings to pull is 10, uh, 10 rings to pull. Uh, so, you know, you'd be in a little bit of trouble, but maybe it's offset somewhere, right? It might be a pin check, you know, so it's still, you can use your sniper eight. You just know how to convert it and use it. Um, if this was a little less, like maybe 40% or something, uh, oh, sorry, not that one. Sorry, 70. If this is this is less, like maybe a two yard pin check. Um, then it falls within the range of the sniper eight. You see that at the two yard mark, if you're using a sniper eight, it's going to be an eight yard mark. And uh, here's the slider, but you know, uh, just just info for you. And then it tells you the correct rings to pull, which is 10, which is which should be the same. Uh, so super useful, uh, very flexible to use this tool. Uh, you can even use it when you have a reference club as well. Um, but that's it, new feature for the Ultimate Golf Crasher, oh, oh, <laughs> Ultimate Golf Clash Calculator, uh, version 10.7, uh, and it's the slider chart converter. All right, thanks.